As a business leader, do you ever feel that you or your team's productivity could be better? If so, this video is for you. Hello, everyone. My name is Tim B. Green, and this is Crush It Club, episode 83, Crush Your Productivity. Knowing exactly which action to take is the core of productivity. People always talk about planning and planning is essential, but planning can in fact get in the way and starve from the only thing that brings your work, what you do into reality, unless your business is specifically selling people plans, which it well could be, but you still have to generate that material, make that material somewhere in the real world where it's outside of your head, outside of your company, where people can actually use it is by definition, something that takes action, not only planning. So let's get back to the again. Um, productivity is primarily about producing, right? <laughs> Which means, knowing exactly which action to take right now or whatever happens to come next. That is what action you need to do next, after now, when this action that you're doing now is finished. If you have a clear next action, you can stay in action and productive. Planning, getting back to that is critical but planning itself isn't productive unless it contributes to your what you produce, which by definition, with the exception of what I just said, is something that requires action. So allow me to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a business leader who made a New Year's resolution. You said you'd get a six pack, at least as good as this guy's. Eat more vegetables, maybe even become a vegan, a vegetarian, or at least mostly so. You did the research, you made or bought the perfect plan. You joined a gym. And according to lifehack.org, up to 90% of you quit in the first three months. A plan never acted on is just a plan. It is not productivity. You can't get fit from not doing the exercise. So the other thing about when they're talking about the 90% who went to the gym, that's the qualification, the 90% who went to the gym? What about the unknown percentage of people who made the plan to go to the gym and never showed up? They did all planning and no action. And exactly how productive is that? It's exactly 0% productive. So planning means nothing without action to follow it up, some, some execution on that plan. So in terms of productivity, it's all about the action. Clearly, this is not stupid, unguided, thoughtless action. This is an action for the sake of action. This is action on a clear, specific, concrete trajectory. But the only moment that exists is this one right now and knowing exactly what action you need to take to head in the direction you are trying to go. And then when that action is over, doing the next action and having that clearly in your mind, or if there's some reason because of your current action, the next action cannot be known yet, then it, you have no choice anyway, but to continue with the action until you do know. And then oftentimes, and you'll find in the way I do my goal setting, like this checklist I've got up here, that um, there's, uh, I think we live in a bit of a cult of planning delusion, where you can make a perfect plan. The reality is there is no such thing as a perfect plan. COVID happened, 
and nobody had planned for it. A perfect plan should have planned for that. So you can spend infinite time making a perfect plan and executing or acting on nothing, giving you zero productivity. Or you can make an imperfect plan, which is all plans and have a clear, specific, concrete next step and following step if possible. So the only time planning actually con contributes to your productivity is, excuse me for a second. The only time it's appropriate, the only time productivity or, or planning actually contributes to your productivity is when you don't know what to do right now. Clearly you need to go back and find that clear concrete direction, that action. Or you don't know what to do immediately after right now. And in many cases, it turns out from many experiences of my own at least, that it usually becomes self-evident, especially if you have your clear destination. Even if you don't know that second action yet, you will know it when you reach the end of the first action in the vast majority of cases. If not, well, do some planning. Another reason that you would want to stop action in favor of planning is if doing so increases your productivity. That is over and above the productivity you're experiencing now by taking action in the way you're taking it, obviously. If it's gonna increase your productivity, there's a clear benefit there, stop, make that plan. And, or if it will improve your current results, again, flip back to the plan. In all other cases, all you need to know is what to do right now and possibly right next. Otherwise, all planning does is it robs you of the above activities I've described that where planning in fact adds to your net output, your net productivity. In other than the cases that I've already mentioned, it doesn't do anything except eat time that you could actually be doing it. You can plan the perfect push-up, but that isn't doing push-ups. Action is the, excuse me for a second, I wanna read and then look at the camera. Action is the only thing that brings objective results into reality. That's it for Crush It Club episode 83. Crush your productivity. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.